In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can stack the bevel modifier and the sub D modifier to be able to have quick, easy, and editable bevels on your models. These two objects are exactly the same polygon model, but this one looks really nice in smooth shaded mode, but this one, not so much. So how can we do that? How can we have these nice crisp bevels and control them? Well, we need to use the bevel modifier. So let's go ahead and we'll select this one, press tab to go to edit mode in Blender, and then we can see that it's not many polygons. So we can go ahead and change that by adding a modifier, and we'll add the subdivision surface modifier, and we can go ahead and change this up to three. So now we're seeing three subdivisions. And if I press tab and I go back out to object mode, you can see this looks a lot better, but it doesn't have the same crispness that this object has. So how do we change that? I'll select it again, press tab to go to edit mode. And what we need to do is add some bevel weights. You'll see this up in this menu. If you don't see this menu, you can press N or click this little arrow and that'll bring the menu up and click on item. When we're in edit mode, make sure you select two so we can select edges. And I'm gonna double click these edges here. And then if I change the mean bevel weight to one, you'll notice that they become blue, but nothing has happened. That's because we have to add a modifier. We'll go ahead and add a bevel modifier, and then we're going to change the limit method to weight. So now it's going to be using these bevel lines. We also want to change it to segments two and put the bevel modifier above the subdivision modifier. Now you can see that we're starting to get some results, but notice how this one is much crisper. So we can change the distance of the bevel, so you can make it smaller or more, depending on what you want. In addition, you can have different amounts of bevel for different sections. So first, let's just select all the edges we want beveled. We also want to do the bottom edge here, so I'll select all these edges. And I'll give it a bevel weight of one. Generally, you want to start with a bevel weight of one and then modify the edges that you want to be crisper. I also want the bottom of this cup to be beveled. So I'll select these. And then up here, I'll type one for a mean bevel weight of one. I'll turn on subdivision again. But now we can see that we have a nice bevel, but we don't have the softness on the bottom of the cup versus the top of the cup. So how can we change that? First, with everything as a mean bevel weight as one, go ahead and change the amount to the biggest bevel you want. So basically this is making the softest bevel. So if we want this to be the softest bevel, now we can go back in and change these bevels. So I will select two, and I'll select this one and this one. And if I type a smaller bevel weight, something like 0.1, notice it's gonna get real sharp right here. So then I can also type 0.2 to change that sharpness. So you can really adjust the sharpness of different bevel weights. And this is really convenient for having a custom model and having it be editable. Because remember, all of this is non-destructive. So I can turn off the bevel and I go right back to that. So it's really easy to modify this low poly cage. Because if I press one, I can go ahead and I can move these points around. I could even change the height of this if I press two and press G and then Z and move up. You see how this is non-destructive. That would be a nightmare if I had these actual bevels in the geometry by adding edge loops. Of course, I can press Control R and add in a traditional edge loop and that will change the form as well. But now I have all this extra geometry to move. So I'm gonna undo that. And now I can just move these pieces and create very interesting forms with just a little bit of geometry by stacking the bevel modifier on top of the sub D modifier and using bevel weights. Hopefully this helps you stack those modifiers in Blender and get to quick modeling very fast in Blender.